Hello, hello, and today we will continue fixing issues with with our role assignment. So let's jump into the uh, into the screen and let's start the timer. Okay, so here and uh, let's like check again role assignments. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will refresh the list. Maybe. Okay, that it is not found. And this is our basic. Okay, I will remove that. So again, maybe I will move that to have closer. Mm -hmm. If I will go into okay, sign again. Mm. This is my uh, service principle. Again, app registrations or applications. Bicep roll assign. Okay. Mm -hmm. Extension resources, which means apply to another resource. The following example shows how to create a storage account and roll assignment scope to that storage account. Mm. Okay, so we have the same. Here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Principal. The principal ID must be a set to quit an object ID. Okay, so this must be object ID. The principal type property specifies whether the principal is user group of service principal. Major identities are from service principal. Okay, so let's try again. Object ID, it has to be our object ID, so this will be the one. Okay, and in role assignment, yeah, I have service principal type. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will run the script. Let's see. What will happen? Mm -hmm. Yes, our definition ID principal. See, that's that's our case. Okay, principles of type application cannot validly be used in role assignments. Maybe it's cost due to the fact that we are using federated identity. Hmm. 
Okay. Not service principal object ID. Enterprise application. Maybe I will that take this object ID from enterprise application, which is kind of wrapper from on service principal. Mm. But I'm really, let's say, surprised. Surely it works just as it is. Mm. Okay, succeeded. So let's check, let's refresh. Oh yeah, it started work. So I needed to take object ID uh, from enterprise application. So, uh, okay, I will add that to the documentation to not forget. Deployment. Uh, Mm. or assignments with bicep are described in mm, creator assignment In the documentation, the principal ID value is an um, object ID of the enterprise application related to the service principal. Okay. I will add that also to the documentation, the difference between enterprise application and service principal. Enterprise application versus app registration. Mm. Okay, the object access the template where you can go configure various things like a permission plan, secrets, branding roles, and so on. Uh, yeah, and service principal is kind of part of uh, Enterprise currently. Uh, and I will put those two links into the documentation.
Okay. second because if I will push the changes then the pipeline will start so uh, what I would like to to do here also yeah uh, I will update that getting that service principal I would like to use existing resource uh, uh, contributor role role where is that that was a nice example here in the documentation Yeah, I'm always preferring to refer to existing resources rather than playing like here with it, um, the, um, with that resource ID. Uh, because here in that way, which we uh, will currently implement, the, the um, reference between the resources is, let's say, explicitly defined. It's not hidden somewhere in, in, the, in the code. So. Uh, what is the type of role definitions? Okay, role definitions, authorization role definitions. Okay, con name contributor role ID. Mm, no, without properties. Because existing. And scope subscription. And that's it. And here I will move this uh, from um, the contributor ID, and it's much, much clearer from my perspective. Mm. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and also, um, also I'm thinking about uh, get moving this here like with it in that place so resource i'm just i will just check if resource resource group existing if it's possible maybe another way let's first commit these changes so at, uh, De facto getting subs no uh, uh, row ID at proper. Um, for role assignment okay six more minutes just I, I wanna I wanna test if that assignment or oh, that existing resource resource group existing name here I will Okay, so still we have to uh, have that scope here. Because there is maybe a G. Uh, yeah, 
because there is a resource group uh, function in, in biceps, so we need to be careful. Okay, I will I will add additional parameter. No. Okay. Source group name. Source group name. RG name scope RG and okay. So yeah, we can't use that uh, in that way. So let's revert our changes. This can be removed. This can be removed. Okay. Also on prod, we need to add that service principal ID. Uh, but we need to take the proper one for production enterprise application object ID here. Okay. And I think that's that will be it. We have three, still three minutes almost. So let's see our pipelines, how will they will behave. Okay, we need to wait uh, for for writing the pipeline. Okay, look into Azure. I will also show you the production. Uh, yeah, here we don't have contributor role assigned already. Now here we will wait for installation of the of the AC Win 11.4.0. But here I can close that in the meantime. I can close. Uh, yeah, also, I will put that uh, maybe. This I and it can be closed, the edit can be closed. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's running a deployment. it on, on def. Oh. oh, already it's assigned, so let's try to refresh. Yeah, and we have another assignment just to that resource group. And we are at the time 
so yes, we have already everything in place in our code. Um, so I think that for today, that's it. Uh, tomorrow we will continue with uh, configuring the pipeline itself. So uh, thanks for watching. Keep uh, or leave the comment, leave the subscription, leave uh, like under this video. It will help me to go uh, broader with my materials. And see you tomorrow in the next video. Have a nice day and see you again.